To operate the JZP, a prepared flask should be in the burnout oven ready to use. Load the machine with the necessary consumable stack. You'll see a diagram of the proper order of the consumables permanently attached to the face of the machine. Make sure that the inert gas is connected and ready to use. The casting grain for your cast should be measured and nearby, ready to use. First, turn on the JZP. The panel lights up showing power level and temperature readings. Adjust the upper and lower pressure settings for the inert gas based on the type of metal and the size of load you'll be casting. Adjust the set point temperature for your alloy. Press the heat button. The coil on light comes on showing that the coil is heating. When set point is reached, turn the rod to make sure it's properly seated in the crucible. Then open the crucible chamber and pour in the measured metal. Close and latch the chamber. Open the flask chamber and insert the prepared flask. Close and latch the chamber. Another beep indicates that the machine is back up to set point temperature and ready for the cast. Press the lever to release the molten metal into the flask. In the JZP auto cast, there will be no beep because the machine will automatically release the metal when the set point is reached. After 50 seconds or so, the machine displays a signal telling you that the flask is ready to be removed from the flask chamber. Remove the flask and turn off the machine. For more information, call Rio Grande today at 800-870-0111.